Often women call me and they say, you know, can you tell me what's, what's normal and what's not postpartum? So what I explain is that there are two main differences to the very normal baby blues, which is not considered a disorder, and postpartum depression, which is considered a disorder. One of the major differences is the severity of the symptoms. With, with the baby blues, even though it does, they don't feel good, they're mild and they don't get in the way of a woman's daily functioning. The other way you tell the difference is by the duration of the symptoms, how long they last. Because if the baby blues goes past two, or at the outset, three weeks, we now call it postpartum depression, even if it's mild. The most painful things that people say to moms with postpartum depression are around, you know, whether she should ever have become a mother in the first place. Because obviously if you're sad when you have a new baby, then there's something, you know, terribly wrong with you and, and, and you probably shouldn't have been allowed to even become a mom. So there's a lot of things like, um, well, why did you have kids? And, well, didn't you know this is what it was going to be like? And, well, you have a healthy baby, so what is wrong with you? You, sh you have everything to be, you know, happy before. You take sort of how you feel about yourself and how badly you feel with PPD and then you pile on top of that how everyone else is sort of looking at you askance and it's the kind of thing that you feel like you'll never climb out of. It's awful. If you're at all suspicious that you might be suffering from postpartum depression, first and foremost I would tell you talk to your partner and then go talk to your health care provider because even as a mom you deliver this baby and you get this sense of empowerment, like you can tackle the work because you love this child and you'll do anything for them. But in the face of postpartum depression, you're not on your A game and most often you're going to need some assistance. It is absolutely critical that women experiencing depression, anxiety or related mood disorder based on their pregnancy or birth of their child, that they not suffer in silence. Perinatal depression and related mood disorders are highly treatable, but what that means is that the woman must access help. 